Hello folks, just going to do a short little tutorial on how to process your drum bus when you've got a good drum mix going on but you want it to just uh, be tightened up, sound a little bit better. So I've got a drum track here, uh, got some uh, a ribbon mic in there that's down beside the snare drum, got overheads, two kick, one inside, one outside, snare top, snare bottom and three toms. Uh, you can see on here that I've already done some uh, EQ, uh, a little bit of gating, um, a touch of compression uh, here. So uh, that's already kind of got the mix up and running. I've not even included the ribbon mic here. So here's how it sounds currently. And I'll just turn up the stereo out just to uh, just to get the volume up on that. Okay, not sounding too bad, uh, but here I've got everything grouped here. All of this is in my drum bus here, okay? Uh, I've already got it going to some reverb, just out of uh, interest. This is the Abbey Road Plates reverb. My opinion, the best reverb uh, that there is. Uh, opinions differ, but I've got nothing else on this master bus. So apart from this reverb, uh, which I'm going to turn off for this demonstration, nothing is going through uh, this drum bus in terms of processing so the way i process that drum bus and you know you go and research your own and look up your own but the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to add uh, some compression i'm going to add some eq i'm going to add a tiny bit of distortion and then i'm going to add some more compression okay i'll use logic plugins for this although if you've downloaded some of the waves or other ones uh, which is what i would normally use yes go ahead and, and do that so first things first i'm going to put in uh, a compressor so going into logic and as in the last tutorial about compression i'm going to use those exact uh, teachings for this so here it is i'm going to go a ratio of about three to one for this and I'm going to want a, about five decibels coming out of it. I'm going to look at my knee here. I want it to be fairly sharp, but not all the way. I'm going to take it off of the auto leveling minus 12. And I want about 20 to 25 uh, milliseconds attack and around 80 milliseconds, if I can get it there, of release. So, and then I'm going to just get some gain on the way out. And all the time I'm doing this, I'm just going to keep watching my bus meter here, just to keep try and keep that gain even. So I want to be just tickling the yellow there. So I've added 5 dB on the way out. I'm not going to limit it. And then I can just flick through some of these top compressors, some of these models up here. And I'll just pick the one that I like the sound of most. That one's a bit harsh for that for this. That adds some nice punchiness to the bass drum. I'm going to go back to the vintage VCA. I think that's uh, that's my favoured sound for this. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to add some EQ. And what I'm going to do here is search for the frequencies that I don't want. And that's all I'm going to do. I'm not going to add anything. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to let's go back to a bit of drums that's a bit less invasive. I'm going to search for the frequencies I don't want and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to one of the four middle frequencies. I'm going to boost it right up and I'm going to narrow this cue down a fair way, maybe to about seven. I'm then going to play it and then I'm going to use uh, the frequency sweep here. Let's make this a bit bigger. There we go. Frequency sweep here, and I'm just going to sweep up and down fairly rapidly at about that speed. And anything that jumps out and sounds ugly to me, I'm then going to cut it like that. Okay, here we go. Okay, there's the first one. So I'm just going to cut that by about 8, eight, eight dB. And then I'm going to move on. Exactly the same thing. We just so happen to have come across one right there that's actually quite nasty, so I'm just going to duck that a little bit. Move on to the next one, narrow the cue, boost it right up. 
Uh, someone sounds like someone bouncing a beach ball, so I'm just going to cut that out. A bit less on the bass, I want to retain some of that. And then all I'm going to do is just widen the cue of those ever so slightly. And what we're doing here is we're just trying to, we're almost surgically trying to remove some of these frequencies, okay? So let's just A, B it. I'll turn it up in the master just so you can hear it here. Okay, that's added a small amount, and as we've said to you regularly, uh, once you've got a good mix going, that's 90% of the work, and then this will be half a percent, and compression will be a percent, and uh, and effects will be another 2%, it's tiny little bits now. Uh, so that's our uh, EQ. I'm now going to add some distortion, okay, uh, I'm going to go for, uh, I think I'll go for this one here, this is one of the factory logic distortions. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive it, send some drive here. I'm then going to play with the tone to find what tone I want. And then I'm going to level it so that it matches the level coming in. So I'll play the track. Okay, you can already hear that distorting. And I'm going to play with this tone. I'm not worrying about, not worrying about levels for now. sounding much more usable. So that's probably too much. So I'm going to bring that right back down. Okay, six sounds about right. And then I'm just going to watch my meter here, bring up this output level. Okay, and then all you need to do is just play with this drive level, probably not more than eight, and then play with this tone however much you want the top to dip off. So you can have it, you know, completely nearly off, or you can you know, sweep right down. So I'm quite happy with that. Here's an A B. And the last thing is we're gonna add another compressor. So this time we're going to use one of the presets and uh, I know I say presets are not always uh, that great but here we you know this is a really good place to use one so if you go into your factory defaults at the top here and come down to compressor tools and then there's this one here called type R pumping I'm going to click on that and then what I'm going to do is leave everything like it is but I'm going to bring this mix control right down as I showed you in the last video this mixes in how much compression you want so here's it here is what it sounds like full on I might just bring that down a bit just in case it peaks so now you can hear that that's really pumping those drums which we don't want that's not going to be a usable sound in sort of a rock pop mix So we're just going to introduce a little bit of that by bringing this down as we go. Here we go. I'm going to go for about 20%, probably no more than 25. And again, I'm just going to level it up with my uh, output control here. So I'll put that back to zero. I'll probably get maybe two decibels out of this. Okay, that's great. Okay, here's it. Here is the uh, drum bus with nothing on. And here's it with everything on. And so that's how I process my drum bus. You can research into your own ones. You, the one you may want to leave out is the distortion. That's not uh, for everyone and that's not for everything. If that was a slower, smoother, maybe sort of more jazzy, uh, more ballady type track, I definitely wouldn't be putting that in there. And I would be a lot more lenient on some of the compressor settings. So I'd, I'd be you know, bringing that ratio right up so that it's not kicking in so low. Um, so, you know, they're not kicking with the compressor so soon. And then, of course, finally, on on the whole track, uh, I'd be adding um, a limiter of some sort, maybe not in this mix, but in a sort of a mastering mix. And that can help you get your levels up even more. And I'll just show you that right now.
and there we go we've got a good drum mix going on and that limiter would of course go across the whole song as well okay hope that's been helpful uh, let me know what other little tutorials you want and uh, i'll get right on that take care guys see you later